Okay, everybody. Okay, everybody, we are so excited. We're about to go to the beach. We're about to have a family day. Well, I'm missing one person, but that's okay because we miss her and we love her. Who are we missing? Naya. Yeah, but she'll come next time, okay? Okay. Are you excited to go to the beach? Yeah. How excited? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. We already, it's about 45 minutes away. But we, we have some chicken. We fr I fried some chicken this morning. We have some juice. We have, what else? We put some suntan lotion on each other. And we ready to go. Daddy. Daddy. So we just got to the beach. Put it set up. What is that? A seashell? You want me to go get you some water? Yep. <laughs> Will mommy get it for you? Let me get it. Okay, everybody, this is the prep for my birthday. Um, just showing you guys, um, there's a lot of um, glitter that didn't stick with the last um, glitter that I put on the last layer. So I'm just putting a very thin layer of glue onto the three, only at the top because the bottom looked just fine to me. And what I realized when I was doing the glasses, because I have made glasses as well, I'm putting the putting the glue on the glasses you want to put a very thin layer unless it's going to look really uneven or a lot really patchy um glitter spots all over the glasses and all over the numbers so i've acquired that i like this way a little bit better i have some parchment paper underneath the number three so that way the glitter can a little bit fall on there um i tried to not get glitter all over the house so the pizza box that I had in the back that the zero was on I'm using that to hopefully catch some glitter so that way it's not glitter on everything in my kitchen um, so this was supposed to be rose gold glitter so as you can see the top of the three matches the bottom of the three now so the only thing to do is the inside of the three because you can see a lot of white still there but it looks very pretty everything is one even coat now so this is the clear sealer that you would put on your letters once you are finished with the final layer and everything is all even um, so that way as you can see I'm putting it to the side there is no glitter falling off so I'm just taking the extra glitter putting it back in the bottle as much as I can because as you can see a lot just spilled but it's fine um, when you're actually pouring out the glitter the glitter is so fine that it looks like a lot of glitter is actually coming out but it's not a lot of glitter it's just that the glitter is just really really fine um, so I tried to salvage as much as possible um, but I really didn't use a lot of glitter on these um, numbers um, I was able to save a lot for the next project or if I decide to put glitter on something else for 
this um, girls trip that we're doing. Well, it, we're staying here in the States. Um, I did plan on going to the Dominican Republic. Um, there goes Cali. But I'm staying here just because we are all trying to quarantine in peace. I'm trying not to spread or catch anything. Um, so I did want to stay in the States and try to do a really small low-key birthday ladies weekend. So um, you guys will see later on that I do have glasses that I made for everyone so they can take that home and sip on while we're there. As far as the numbers is going, I'm trying to do the edges. I do suggest when you are doing something like this, try to have a designated area so that way everything can be seamless and you're not getting glitter all over your bed like I did. Um, but I did vacuum it so it's a lot better now. But I do not really plan on doing the back of the threes um, because this is just something, the, the front is going to be the only thing that's going to be seen. And it's not something that I'm trying to be really perfect about. No one that's coming is going to be looking at the back of the three or the zero. Um, so I'm trying to just take my time so that way I'm not wasting a lot of glitter. Of course, Callie wants to help, but I can, I just seen it in my head going really, really wrong. If she would have touched that glitter and put it on herself. So I just kept going and she's fine. Here's me working on the three. Um, as you can see, I'm just showing you guys that there are a lot of white spots um, from when I did the three before. Um, so now I am going to try to go over that with some glue. This is the glue that I'm using. You can find this at Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Just use a little sponge brush, um, as you can see. And then this glitter, this rose gold, I was like... <laughs> rose gold because it really looks gold to me but that's actually gold um so i'm gonna head and go ahead and fill in the white spots on the number three and that's callie showing you guys too callie really loves arts and crafts um i try to do a lot of arts and crafts in the house but birthday purposes um i wanted to do the number 30 to be somewhere in there besides the balloons and I'm showing you the sealer again. Um, some now this is the bottles that I've been doing. So for um, I have the cooks the champagne. I, love um, I also have Andre I champagne. This is another type of weekend. champagne as well this was that I have purchased. Um, you can get these stickers um, on Amazon. Champagne. I'll try to link them in I the description like below. Really good, but you can um, get these um, stickers so that you can put on the bottles. They have different colors. 
I try to stick um, as close to my theme as possible. So there you go with the gold and white. I have to get some more black. Um, so you can get um, those. Um, all I did was scratch these, off the actual um, sticker of the champagne. Label the label. You can put, I ripped that off. There's um, different, different versions. Varieties. Sip Sip Parade. Um, this is Sip Sip Parade. Is one. 30, 30 birthdays. So I'm just showing you that there. you do have other options. Um, You don't have to obviously get 30. But you can get that to make your event a little bit more decorative and in sync. Um, with the same thing, the we're going to be using these for mimosas. Um, I had thought it would be a good idea from knowing of my Cricut that you can just cut the tops a little bit.